Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. In today's video, I have the full quest guide for Perils in the Dark. So first off, we are going to go into the middle. To activate this quest, you need to do all the other quests which you can find on my channel. I have all of the guides there. But for this quest, you just have to read the journal. There's a little bit of dialogue and then once you have completed that, more of the map will open up. Now what you want to do is go to both locations and you are going to have to ring both of the bells to proceed with the quest. So bell number one, let's teleport to the waypoint closest to it. And what we are going to do is head to that location. So there's a little bit of climbing, not too much though. So we're just going to go around and you will find a Healy Chill camp. We're just going to avoid them for now because chess videos will be coming up guys. I will do my best to get them done ASAP. Now see these vines here, we're going to use them to climb up. And then we are going to just jump up over here and then climb all the way to the top of this tower. Now once you've made it to the top, we are going to go to this thing here, recharge, and then we are just going to fight this abyss mage. Once you have defeated it, we can now go to the purple sludge and then we are going to get rid of it. So we can use these uh, mechanisms to recharge just because whenever you remove the sludge every time, you will need more energy. So here I needed to recharge. So I'm just going to go back to this recharged and then we're going to go to that sludge get rid of that then get rid of this one oh, need more energy so recharge and you can use any of them to recharge it's fine and then we are going to recharge a little bit more and then go to this last one so once they are all activated the sludge will come back and then you have to fight some enemies so defeat them both and then once you have done that, we can go to the bell and just whack it and that will ring the first bell. Now we are going to go to bell number two. So teleport to the waypoint just closest to it. And this one's a little bit more tricky, but it's not too bad. So the bell is in that tower. So I'm just going to glide over. You can fight the enemies if you wish. I'm just going to try my best to avoid them. So I will film them later for a chess video. So just going to use this plate, jump up so we don't have to climb. Just avoid this guy here. And then I'm just going to go inside this tower. So go around and what you want to do is go inside here. Go around and you will notice that there are two sealies. So we want them to go around and light up each of these mechanisms. So we just have to go around in a circle and try and get them to line up. So this one here, the mechanism is lighting up that torch already. I'm just going to call it a torch. And then, so there's two sealies there. We just want to try and just touch one of them. So one of them can go around. This one's going to go around. And then there's one torch there as well. So we can actually light that one up ourselves. But you want to just get this one to move over. Just one. So that one's lit up. And then we can go to this one ourselves. Touch that. And then a chest will appear. Now once you open up the chest, you will see a current appear. And then also one of the sealies will go to the top, which will help you out with your quest. So the ceiling is on one torch, you just have to stand on the other and then that cube will unlock. You can go up to it and activate it to open the door. And then we just want to drop down. Once you're all the way down, go into the room with the ruin grater and then we are just going to get rid of the sludge. And then you are going to have to fight him so that sludge can disappear off that bell so we can actually ring it. And then once you are done, go up to the bell, attack it to ring it. Okay, so now that you've done that, let's teleport back to Stony Halls. And then we are going to go into the middle once again, the point that is marked on the map. 
And then as you approach, you will be greeted with a really short cutscene, and then you will have to fight these abyss lectors. So you will fight them both, and once you have defeated both of them, what you're going to do is, there's a shiny bit on the ground, we're just going to investigate that. And then once you have, that quest will complete. So that is all for this quest. I will be back with the next one. So thank you so much guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! And that's the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more chests, check out my other guides for other areas. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.